Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf. Last time we did some statue repairs and we're about to report to Angbor that we've made great strides in this effort. Ah, the statue is coming along nicely. I'm certain that you were a great help and an example to the men. Well, that's for sure. Now, let's see what we have here. Ah, this one. While you were working on mending the statue of the Fallen King, I spoke to Mithrandir and Lorg Aragorn. They require your assistance on a matter, but would not tell me of its nature. Mithrandir would meet you on the road that leads to the Morgul Vale, near the crossroads, as soon as you're able. The road to the Morgul Vale. Oh, that sounds like a fun place to go. You requested my presence? Will you accompany us on this small errand? Yes, my friend. I fear while we march north towards the Black Gate, the force of meanest Morgul may cause trouble by sneaking up and biting in our heels. We'll make measures to ensure that this does not happen. Will you accompany us on this small errand? We could use another set of wary eyes and an able hands. I'm sure you'll need the hands more than the eyes. It is not generally safe or wise to so much as set foot within the Morgul Vale. Which means you're going to have me do it instead, right? That's what I think. To protect the host of the West, I have taken it upon myself to lead Aragorn and his trusted friend into the Morgul Vale. Oh, how much fun. I know not for what purpose these flowers grow here. Our destination lies further ahead, Pineleaf, but I ask that you take a moment to hear my counsel. The flowers that line the road have fallen to some corruption, prey for some dark forces. I suggest that we turn these evil blooms in or oh, burn oh yes burn in order to prevent the spread beyond the veil into Athelian and Gondor. I thought you wanted us to turn them into good flowers. Good proper flowers. Burn these noisome blooms so their evil cannot spread to the others. Alright, let's get rid of the ancient evil flowers. We have to deal with ancient evil fauna all the time. Why not ancient evil flora? They're trying to take... No, they... Are you sure they're not just regular weeds? In which case, this may be a little bit extreme. Uh, okay, okay. I, uh, I will... Perhaps they aren't regular of the mill weeds. Yeah, they are nasty weeds. Bad weeds. Bad weeds! Oh, come on. Then I'll take care of you, then. Okay, let's get rid of that thing, too. Goodbye! Let it! Good. I think we have a few more flowers to deal with. Get rid of these flowers. You gotta be careful of these. One touch of them could be perilous. Let's have the Hobbit do it instead! Alright, then let's go to this one. Aha! Stopped you! The first one seems to have gone dead. A little touch of death. Ah, where were we? Oh, yes. This away. Maybe I should wait until my morale bar gets to a reasonable level. Ah, it'll take a little while. Well, they disappeared pretty quickly. Don't give in to fear! Alright. I dealt with the flowers. Well, 
That indeed takes care of one problem. The smoke of the burning is foul, Pine Leaf, but it will pose less harm than leaving those evil blooms would have done. Let us press on forward. Well, let's see what's forward. More evil flowers? Rob, wait, you're running! Run, 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 run! The very air of this place is foul, Mithrin dear. Are you certain that we should come here? Come with me, Pine Leaf! Aragorn, we must meet you at the bridge! Oh, we will meet you at the bridge. Not far now, my friend. Oh. That looks like a nasty place. That is the city of Minas Morgul. Once it was Minas Ethel, the Tower of the Moon, but no longer. Do you see the arch structure that crosses the river to the east? Yeah, I, I see that. So that's Minas Morgul, and that's a bridge leading to Minas Morgul. Okay, got it. That is the bridge we must destroy if we are to keep the foes from Minas in the Morgul Vale from crossing into Athelion. Let's rejoin Aragorn. We came here just to have a new look at the bridge. Okay. Scouting ahead, I presume, making sure there weren't any archers there. These lands once belonged to Gondor, but the corruption of Mordor has befouled them. Yes, they certainly have. Okay, that's... I feel eyes upon us, Pine Leaf. Remain watchful. All right, I'll watch, I'll watch, I'll watch. Aragorn, we are not alone. Remain here. I feel watched. Watchful present. It hates us. It fears us. We must be quick. Stand back. This task is fine to undertake. Uh. Okay. Well, so much for that bridge. It is done. Yep, that's done all right. It is strange, is it not, to think that dark citadel was built by the hands of men. We must not tarry here. That dark citadel was once Minas Ithil, the Tower of the Moon. But it has not been called by that name for a terrible span of years. It is a fortress of Nazgul now, and none dare to go that way. Thanks to the power and wisdom of Mithrandir, our work this day will make it more difficult for the forces to assail Gondor by this road. And that is work well done. Very well then. Let's get out of here then. Let's just slow them for at least ten minutes. With the bridge in ruins, the threat of those in Minas Morgul is much diminished. It will be difficult for great numbers to make it across the swift currents of a Morgul doing. I am, however, concerned about those noxious flowers that we came across. No good can come from those things. You would speak with the prattling Angbor and let him know that our work here is done. I believe Aragorn is ready to move up north. All right. Ready to move north now. So let's find Angbor, who is... Oh, this way. Hello there. We're back from a little trip to the Morgul Vale, and now Aragorn is preparing to head on to the north. You went to the Morgul Vale and didn't invite me? Well, I suppose I had plenty here to, to oversee and to keep me busy. So, we shall be on the move again. I must give orders and have my men ready. All right. Whee! So, that completed quest in Asgiliath and the Crossroads. The road through North Athelion will be difficult. We must rely on Lord Faramir's rangers to lead us among these hills safely. 
why don't you speak to Moblong, you know, it's Gilly, it's after this. Alright, right. Okay, I will speak to Moblong and see what he has to say. Hello there. Any advice for what we'll find as we march up north? Let us hope you bring glad tidings, friend. The Rangers of Athelion are here to do our part for the march. You remember Thurnidol, do you not? He has been scouting in North Athelion for some time now. I've arranged for him to meet you near the crossroads. You are to travel with him ahead of the host of the West. First, however, you should speak with Angbor and relay these plans. All right, fine. I shall speak with Angbor, which is not all that unusual. And besides, I will meet Angbor before I reach the crossroads anyway. I have my report from Moblonk. Good, good. I'm glad we shall have the rangers for guides. Please, let's go on ahead. I'll remain here and make sure that our supplies and men are accounted for and ready for the march. We shall meet again soon, I'm sure of it. So, I need to seek out Thurindal in Northern Ithelion. I do have to make sure that I kill some foes along the way to the next area, but I'm sure that'll happen at some point, right? Otherwise, i have to do a little backtracking, I guess. First, let's find the ranger. Hey, you see a ranger around here? Hmm. Ah! I spy with my little eyes something that begins with R, right? Will you help bear my burden, friend? Leave. Thank you for meeting me here. Much has happened since you passed through Southern Athelion. For our part, we rangers have even mo ever moved, striking at the enemy where we might. Bar Hurinalas could not be defended and was lost. Men too have been lost, but I shall not dwell on that now. Come! We have much to discuss if we are to be shepherding an army through the lands of Northern Athelion. Alright, and what shall we do in order to bring the sheep across? Yes, it is good to see you again, Pineleaf. Even after such a great battle, the memory of your deeds in South, South Athelion has not left me or my company. Lord Faramir is safe, and he is within Minas Tirith, and my captain, Anborn, has returned to the refuge of Henneth Anun, with most of our company. The Dark Lord has not yet taken his defeat lightly, and he has sent his forces into Northern Azilian to strike before the host of the West can do Reach the Black Gate, yes. My company and I would have much use for a warden of your skill, especially after such a victory has been won against the enemy. There are a few more matters I wish to speak with you here, but then I would ask that you meet me at the baths of Alan Verin, far to the north along the roadway. Would you aid me, my friend? All right, so I need to aid you with as many of his tasks as I'm able, and when I'm ready to move on and meet him to Aelin Varen. All right, I guess I could do that. Actually, it sounds like then that I'm most likely going to have a ridiculous number of enemies that I'm going to be killing before I get over to the next area. Okay, let's just accept this quest. Three quests, in fact. A looming enemy. Yes, after the great battle, we had much to consider, my friend. The orcs claimed Baranoth, and from far to the north, the Kulandar struck and made inroads into Daggerlad, where the rest the where the rest that fled the battle have gone, I don't know for certain, but I fear that many may have found new refuges within northern Athelion. In these dark times, I count myself fortunate to have your trust, and I give you mine in return. I would ask that you search the shores of the Anduin to the west, and 
the hilltop to the north of Bar-Aroth, and the foothills of Ethetuath, of the Mountains of Shadow, for signs of our foes. When you have finished your patrol and killed the eight that you need for the other quest, meet me at the north and at the old baths of Island Varen, and it is there we shall speak more about what is to be done in the coming days. All right, fine. I need to do a little bit of a patrol. I suppose that makes sense. And creeping decay. Yes, do you see what the orcs have done to Athelion, my friend? They have invaded our lands and burned many of our mighty trees, and yet it was not enough to leave it at that. Dark spires have burnt from the er, burst from the earth, and the ground surrounding them suffers from foul maladies. I have seen orcs gather beneath them, speaking wildly in their vile tongues and waving their staves in a frenzy, probably defilers. I don't know what to make of this pine leaf, but I fear something terrible stirs in Mordor. Something terrible always stirs in Mordor. If we are to keep Athelion free of foes and the enemy's influence, we must destroy these spires and cast out those orcs. All right, fine. I will defeat defilers. Aha! Even this says... Okay, defeat defilers along the effort to us. Well, if I'm going to be killing eight of those, that's certainly going to satisfy the eight I need for the other quest. And destroy Duat's Spires, which are eight of those also. What else we need? Reclaiming Ithilien. Yes, I have thought our foes bested on the fields of the Pelennor, but I am proven wrong, it seems. The Easterlings and Haradrim fought to the last, but many of the orcs did not share their convictions and fled the field. The undoing is swift and wide, yes, but even it could not drown them all. To the north, there is a great stone ruin that is known as Bar Aroth, and the orcs have claimed it. We launched an ill-fated attempt to seize it, and lost many rangers in the process. Our men are battle-weary, and we were foolish to charge to headlong in such numbers. The orcs have taken their skulls, and now hack away at the surrounding trees with no regard of Gondor's garden. We must rout them before they become greater threats to the host of the West, and also to avenge I Ken. Go, Pineleaf, and I shall meet you far to the north at Island Varen. All right. Whew. Quite a set of quests. What will I find when I head along north down the road? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of Complete Pine Leaf.